you know, you really got to enjoy just sitting there and getting a notification on your phone that says, oh, someone posted on YouTube. It was me. I got a notification about my own YouTube community post. What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> I was just sitting here scrolling through my phone and I got a notification about the post that I made saying, oh yeah, he posted that. Anyway, hi guys. <laughs> hi everyone. How are you today? Hope everyone's doing well. Um, welcome back to Killer Frequency. Why isn't it there? You should be there. Be there. Come on. There we go. All right. All right. It's all good. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. I am doing very well. Mm. Had a bit of a busy day last or yesterday, but ended up pretty well. Um, yeah, overall, doing all right. Um, it's been a... It's only been a day since the lobotomy stream, actually. I have been I've been suffering from this issue lately, right? Where I actually I'm, I'm gonna go back to this for a bit while I talk. I'm suffering from this issue lately. Where I'm just so fucked with the track of time. I don't even remember like the last time I streamed, because I just get fucking confused. Enjoy some lobotomy abnormal art. Huge. But you know, I just get completely dead confused with my things. Anyway, I'm going to load our game just so that we can put on some nice little music, you know? Start DJing and shit. Um all right, here we are. But yeah, so it's a more, more I guess, chill stream after Lobotomy Corpse finale. Uh, sorry, I'm a thirsty little sunflower today, as the, you know, as we would say. Um, but yeah, no. Especially after the Lobotomy finale, we're on a, we're on a bit of a more chill vibe today. But um, if any of you remember last time, we dipped our toes into Killer Frequency. Very interesting game. Not what I was expecting. Um, we're just a little, little guy on a radio. We're just having a good time being John radio host and being John radio host, you know, playing our little, playing our little boo -womps. I, It's a fun game though. Um, we've had our little whistling man running around town. Something about a guy named like Clyde or something. We got our little tidbits on where he's been. And yeah, um, I think we got to like the perfect middle point stopping part. So that's nice. We're going to play Dr. Why not the other huge. Big bird, small bird, and judgment bird together. Ah, the three, the three goobers. Anyway, uh, what do we need to do next? I guess press for Peggy. Keep going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment or scratch that for us. We have okay. a caller. Just jumping straight into it. Yes, yeah, so I do hope everyone's doing well. Today's definitely going to be a bit more of a chill vibe. I'm kind of in like a weird little state. Um, just kind of been busy trying to sort shit out. Okay, for Vegas. Shut the music off. Because remember, I do go to Vegas at the end of the week, so I will be very much busy. The Scream. The Scream. I love Forrest. He's great. Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. Still, I'm oh, okay. glad that Random person. didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it. Oh, uh, it's this Your one. Your name was Dawn, right? And again, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn. Oh, uh, this is the one in the back alley. I ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long ride home. You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window. Come on, Peggy. You must really love that song. If you're calling She's going to be the killer. She's going to come for me because I don't play her song. <laughs> well, I, I do love it. And I don't want to argue, but you do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don. But we I'm going to have to go get, get it. Get right it. Now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It's yep. Like okay. Well, the whistling man made his way from the sheriff's office to like the fucking jazz studio. So I don't want to hear it. Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I, I'm telling you, man. He, he fucking teleported oh, last I time. You will. The one time I can actually pull up huge. Peggy, I'm, I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's going to be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. Oh, we're being blackmailed. <sighs> this motherfucker. Well, folks. Here's some music for you while I think things over. What a, what a fucking scumbag. She just wants to hear her stupid song. Get it yourself. You're going to love this next track. 
Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious God. about hearing that song, that's for sure. <sighs> Peggy, I mean, is she serious? But Forrest. About... I don't know, Forrest. Okay, hang on. But I'll, I'll talk in a second. We don't really have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth. All right, I'll do it. You're a good man, Forrest. So if you guys remember from last key time. To the fire door. Wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked? <laughs> yeah, it. Uh. You know, I never thought about it, but. Yeah. <laughs> we should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway, I'll hold the fort down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be Ah, uh, yeah, Peggy will be the one doing the conversation. The screen. With me. Peggy. I'm gonna come back and she's gonna be dead. So your radio host trying to handle a killer case. It's kinda hard. Yeah, basically. But so I'm guessing if you remember last time, right? We noticed that the one girl who was new in town didn't get targeted by the killer at all. So my theory is we're gonna encounter the killer here, but he's gonna spare us. He's gonna be chill with us. Because we weren't here for our supposed tragic incident that occurred last year. Oh man. Oh wait, is this the same alley from the Oh, it's the same fucking alley from the beginning. I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Out here. In the open. Hello. Where where's the record? Chat. Where's the Uh 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 Hi, this is where you were last time, wasn't it? Yeah, that this is the intro to the game. Oh god. Why would the fire exit need to be unlocked? You know, man, sometimes you don't want the fire getting out. If you keep it unlocked, then the fire's just gonna leave through the exit door, and that's no good. What? Hello? Oh, hey, man! Oh, hey, man! Oh, hey, man! What are your what are your thoughts on the current economic situation plaguing the Middle East? Please, I would love to know. Because I personally have very strong opinions on the matter. Hey man. You happen to know where that record is? Right. <clears throat> Which window would she have thrown it out of? Apparently this fucking one. What kind of bullshit is this? 70 Oh my god, I need the fucking fuse box. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Hi. Okay. Hey man, um, have you ever played Five Nights at Freddy's? Because that's basically what this shit is. I need to collect fuses. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I despise this. Why does he- why does he walk so slowly? Okay. Put him on down. Okay. We're fine. We're okay. We're a okay. I- I told you guys, he's chill with us. He's so chill with us. We weren't here for last year's tragic incident, and he only goes after people tied to national tragedy. Easy. Oh, this is broken. Looks like it'll be secure at least. Um, hello. Oh, not the mouse trap. Okay, where's the other one? Where's the final one? I don't like it here at all. Um, or, but you're not an. Oh, but you're an A20. That's some. That's some plumbing right there. That's some, that's some of the plumbing that's ever been plumbing. Can I put down... Can I pick up this one? Yes. I think I need the A5s, right? Because it needs to be at... Or no, wait. Did it say 70 or 20 on there? Uh, there was a number. And I think we need to get the fuses with the right number. Quantity. Was it 20? It's going on the media channel. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. So we need... We need it to reach 70 watts. 70 wateroos. So, like, what are you gonna be? You're gonna be 30, right? Shut the fuck up! Shut up! God! I'm trying to have a night nice stroll, do some puzzles, learn shit. Come on. I am counting! Stop it! You fucking stop it, I'm counting! You do not interrupt me when I'm counting. That is not cool, man. Do you have any idea how hard numbers are? I bet you fucking don't. I bet you never counted past five in your life. God, this guy, he's such a sensitive asshole. God, oh man, I'm all alone out here. I hope no bitch kills me. God, A15. Uh, this should be good, actually. I think I need both of these. Just down a chocolate milkshake beforehand, so this stream do be comfy. That's huge. I would fuck up, like, a, I don't know about a chocolate milkshake, but like a cookies and cream milkshake. 
I've never counted past five either. It's a, it's a hard one. It took me a while. It took me a lot of counting. Okay. So I think I need these. Then you. Right? So hang on. Dude, I'm about to take some serious counting right now. If you talk to me, if you do anything, you are done for. So that's 50, 55, plus 15, that's 70. Bingo. Fuck yeah, baby. Let me in. Gain access to the station after being locked out. Oh, I got locked out? I, I didn't know I was locked out. I thought I was just gonna, you know. Oh, wait. So don't I need the record or some shit? But where's the... Well, Peggy threw it out the window. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Is anybody there? Why is that door so heavily locked, by the way? Well, where the fuck is the record? Oh, here it is. There we go. Long ride home. God. Risking my life for this shit. Good thing the murderer didn't kill me. Good thing I didn't get all stabbed and shit. Good thing no one tried to murder me or something. God. I could probably survive that fall. God, such a good thing that I'm not dead. Such a good Looks thing like that no one killed me. Closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? Chat. <laughs> I just got like the bad ending. What's that fucking noise? What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. Okay, there's a key. I'll just take. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Okay, I needed that. Then. Be important. I definitely needed that then. Oh, he's got a, he's got a little doohickey. He's got a little doodad. Look at him go. What a guy. Thanks for holding on to that me man. On to that for me, man. Kim Walker, Aunt Williams, Chuck Brody, Power Station, Trailer Park Gas Station, one Chuck Brady, two Kim Walker, Flew for Thought, Rebecca Allen, Aunt Williams, Staff Surge at Power Station. Gallows Creek Game Day, Crime Syndicate Impounded, Justice for Festival Victims, yeah. And the Festival Acts have been concluded. You need to shut the fuck up, man! I am reading! Trailer for sale. Quiet Ride Health Safety Convention. Is your car safe? Sure, if Matthew Swanson says multiple car thefts. Justice for Festival Victims. Two years investigation in the festival accident has concluded. Investigators blame two engineers that were contracted from local power station. Lead engineer Ant William and junior engineer Sean Everett were distracted talking about horror movies while assembling the big wheel, which led to various construction mistakes. They have been ordered to do community service for a total of... Ooh. And wait. Ant Williams and... Sean Everett. Is there a Sean Everett on here? No. He is one of these guys. Ooh. So yeah, this is definitely a vengeance plot. Somebody's a bit upset. Somebody's a little bit of a bitch. Someone suffered a bit of trauma and became a little bitch because of it. Couldn't take it. Anything else here that is interesting? Because I don't think I'm like going to get fucked here. Community service for that? Unrealistic as fuck? No, that sounds pretty realistic to me. Because very safe. I gave a sticky bomb on it. Just can't get stolen. Local legend takes to Manhattan. The infamous author of the tell-all book, Di Diary of a Car Thief, moves to Gallows Creek for life. There's a lot about car theft here. Why is there so much about car theft? Looking for a gas station bought by local ex-lottery winner. It'll keep me busy on the evenings. What's with all the bullshit here? Oh, lead engineer for Gallows Creek Harvest. Look out, tragedy. Tragedy struck Gallows Creek yesterday afternoon after a bus failed to stop and crash into a fuel tanker. The deceased have been identified as Gallows Creek locals, Mr. D. Rudd, Mr. M. Hewton, Mr. P. Stein, Mr. K. Stein, and Ms. J. Mildred. Police have asked for privacy from the families of victims. The incident is not being treated as suspicious. Okay. Marriage announcement. We'd like to celebrate the marriage of Kim Walker and Peter Stein. Wait, so... They both die? Oh no, Peter Stein died. Oh no, wait, yeah. 
Because K Stein would be the marriage of them, wouldn't it? Yes. So the married couple died. Call for donations to help Chuck Brody. Former Gallows High Captain Chuck Brody suffered a career-ending injury as a victim of the festival last late year. Yeah, the festival disaster. To help him on his road to recovery, we are buying him some lottery tickets. Hopefully he gets lucky and can get back on his feet. Pun not intended. Drought tickets in the bucket below. And there's something about lottery. What does it all mean, though? Gas station, Rebecca Allen's Aunt Williams. What does it all mean? Is your car safe? <laughs> what does it all mean? Oh, wait. Here we go. Festival disaster. Big wheel breaks free. 15 injured. Who is to blame? Gallows Creek Harvest Festival closed earlier this year after tragedy struck only hours after opening. The big wheel broke free from its supports and rolled through town. An investigation is currently underway. More on page 12. Okay. So, basically, the people here are kind of fucking stupid. And somebody doesn't like that. He's just, he's, they're just doing their due diligence, you know? Bought his FNAF tickets? You did buy my FNAF tickets. It's been a movie date night with him, not gonna lie. True. It'll be so cute. Can we hold hands and shit? Okay. 15 injured. Those people would seriously not be doing community service. They would be in prison. True. Okay. Anyway. Um, that was something. Not gonna lie, mate. I this should be muted. I wish I could hear what you're saying. <laughs> uh, chat. Feed him false information. Tell him what I'm saying, but make it just completely not true. Do not tell him a word I'm saying. Say I'm telling him how much I, like, hate him or something. <laughs> I believe in you guys. Movie date at FNAF? That do be like it. True. I'm pretty sure the current plan is... Hmm. What you want to call it? Show's going? For the FNAF movie. Um, I know... So, I'm going in a suit. My partner's going in a dress. By the way, I'm in a relationship now. I should probably mention that to you guys, chat. Um, and then, what you want to call it? I think Parker, my one roommate who's talking in chat right now, is probably going to go in a suit as well and then we got to convince my what you want to call it my roommate gabe to go in as well any ideas for my history presentation layout throw me ideas mm, layout you put up the name of a random person Isn't and that such a just good song, folks? the the, the presentation Jesus has Christ, nothing for ages. So shut up shut up i'm talking to chat man i don't care about the radio i'm talking to chat clive the janitor might be Clive the um, murderer. But what you want to call it? What? Well, start from the beginning. Clip school. True. Fire door lock on it. Hang on. I'm listening to them. Oh, okay. So they're explaining what happened. But um, what you want to call it? What was I saying? I was saying something. Oh, yeah. Just make a PowerPoint that's completely up. unrelated to what you're saying. Uh, I've done that once. Because the basement's creepy as yes, hell. Yes, I am in a happy relationship like now. standing around down there. I know. I know. Fair. My wife, new right, character arc. Let's my wife misses me. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement made by our creepy janitor. Yep. Who you think is the creepy whistling man. Correct. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Yes. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target. That's right. And we've got to He just remembered him. all this, by the way? Four he just remembered all this? Two? The hospital, what? the power station. <laughs> Do your entire the presentation station. talk about your favorite Damn. streamer. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're gonna have to figure out if Sorry, I'll any play of TF the in two million are at years. one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. Okay, so wait. We have to figure out if any of these targets are gonna wait, so wait. How's it Recap? Going? Uh, it's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? And four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Okay. Need any more help? I'm good now. Thanks, Peggy. No okay. problem. So we have to go back down to the silly note board. Of course, we have to go back. Never mind. Oh, d what the? What the f well, okay, I guess I just have it all up here now. Okay, good to know. Great. Um, well, now I can start using this shit maybe if I want to. How oh, the fuck? You're married and still in college. What kind of luck do you have? I am not married. I do not actually have a wife. 
I have a partner and I'm in a happy relationship, but unfortunately not a wife. She left me a while ago. Okay, so we have four locations. The power station, trailer park, gas station, and hospital. If I recall correctly, there was this thing, the trailer park, right? I'm sick of being a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. I only stole a few cars. Who cares? Buy a new one. I'm selling my trailer. I'm leaving town ASAP. I just want to get out of here. Please try it. So there was something about a trailer for sale, right? So... These guys are dead. This this means nothing. So just this power station. 12 which are students from Gallows Creek. Hi. Okay, so the power station is going to have Gallows Creek High students... Aunt Williams, Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, and Rebecca Allen. All of which can be power station workers. Probably. Debatably. Um, we have the festival. Local... Okay. Local Dr. K. Walker recommends all locals get their flu shot ASAP. Flu season is upon us. Wait. Kim Walker, are you not a... Unless they graduated Gallows Creek High. Flu season upon us, 84, is no different than any other year. Please make sure you're protected. Dallas Creek game day. What's the... Oh, fuck. What's the date today? Shit. It's September 3rd. Hmm. Hmm. Trailers for 10 grand. Exquisite. True. Oh, e-girlfriend? No, I... I... No. It's my... I live with... I, I live with my partner. Um, anyway... We, we, we live under the same roof. Not that I have an issue with e dating. I have friends who have done that. And this author of Tell All Book, Diary of a Car Thief, moves out of Gallows Creek for a new life in the big city. So who the fuck is this guy? Um. 24 hour gas station bought by ex local lottery winner. I'm so confused. Oh, wait. So this is the class of 69. Okay, so they are not actively students at this moment. They are all older people. So Kim Walker is a, what you want to call it? Is a hospital worker, judging by, what you want to call it? Kim Walker's a hospital worker, judging by the flu for thought thing. However, K Stein is different than Kim Walker, is it not? Because Kim Walker said flu season is upon us 84 is no different than any other year. Meaning that she was alive during 84. However, this took place in 1977 with Kay Stein who had married Peter Stein. Okay? So... Wait, okay. Tuesday 1st through Sunday 6th of September. Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Convention. Do you care about health and safety? Good, then come on down to the yearly convention. Special mystery guest, the lead engineer responsible for the Gallows Creek Harvest Festival disaster. They say you can learn from your mistakes while I turn mine into a career. Hi, crime syndicate impounded. Refer to as the informant who has to remain anonymous, we hereby refer to as R.A. Is that any of these guys? Rebecca Allen has walked through with no charges. Has to remain after members. Here after referred to RA has walked free with no charges. Okay. So our Rebecca Allen walked free with no charges. So there's no evidence to say that Kim would be at the hospital tonight. Who are you? I should remember that I can look at the back of these real quick. Hang on, let me let me see if there's anything on the back of any of these. No. Chuck Brody was a disaster victim. Right? And judging by the looks of this, Clive is not going after disaster victims. How long are you going to be going for? Ideally, until we beat the game. Um, Vegas I leave for on Thursday. I'm going to try and get in a stream tomorrow. It might be later. I might skip a class. We'll see. Killer has actual lore. Amazing. Exactly. It's actually kind of cool. I like this. Okay, so festival disaster. Who is the engineer who is responsible for that? I feel like they would be going after the engineer, right? That makes sense. Because this guy doesn't like the disaster. I feel like this is a, a red herring. I don't think there's anything here that's important. Here we go. Lead engineer Ant Williams and junior engineer Sean Everett were distracted talking about horror movies. 
while well, assembling the big wheel, which led to various construction mistakes. They've been ordered to do community service. So I think they're going to be going after Aunt Williams then. And Aunt Williams is in town, they said. Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Convention. Trailer Park. The 6th. Saturday, March 22nd. But what's going... Why the trailer park? What would that have to do with anything? So I think this... I think this... Oh my fucking god. Shut up. I think... Aunt Williams is the target. That would make sense almost. Part of the car club. Could they be responsible for the... Car things? Smear, does that guy look like a clip school without a beard? Who? Who which one? Also, sorry that I'm kind of being stupid. I'm trying to figure this out. Is your car safe? Crime Raven 70 will be stopped. I can assure you must work together. Trying to put an end to the long-running car thieving crime syndicate. The rest are made up after a member gave up information on the co-conspirators to investigators. So, Rebecca Allen and Aunt Williams were both part of the car club. So it would make sense that Aunt Williams was also responsible for the car things. So I think Aunt Williams is the target. I think Aunt Williams has a fucking devious past on their hands. So I think Aunt Williams is the target. We just need to learn where the fuck Aunt Williams is going to be. So... Get started in a career in health and safety advising. Dream mystery guest. Going down to the yearly convention. Grant Ridge Health and Safety Convention. Like, would they be in the trailer park? Or the power... No, they wouldn't be at the power station. Okay. I'm gonna rule out the power station. Because the power station is on fucking fire. <laughs> um, as far as we're aware, right? Or no, that was the waste disposal. Shit. It's nighttime. They wouldn't be there, would they? Staff search at the power station. Ah, oh, shit. Local legend takes to Manhattan. Wait, that has a trailer that is sold. Local legend takes to Manhattan. Infamous author of tell-all book Diary of a Car Thief moves out to Gallows Creek for a new life in the big city. She stole our cars, then she stole our time and money, said our reviewer Jim Randy last year. More on page 15. So... What you gonna call it? Then that would mean... That would mean Rebecca Allen is not here. Kim Walker is like either fucking dead or kind of irrelevant. I'm gonna keep it real. Um, this, this ant fucker. We need to figure out where ant is gonna be. I don't know if he would be at the trailer park. Is there anything that could tell me whether he would be there or not? Contact Tyler, Tyler Wallace. Guys, we're not doing this. We're not doing this, guys. Stop it. We already did this in the server. Justice for festival victims. Aunt Williams. Would Aunt Williams live at the... But Aunt Williams wouldn't live at the trailer park, would he? Because Aunt was already there at the festival incident. And the festival incident took place all the way back in 72. So unless Aunt fucked off... So... Where the fuck is Ant then? Okay, hang on. Peggy, let's How's talk. How's it going? Can you say uh, It's not going well. I could use some help. Okay. Okay, let's review the basics. Target is we need definitely to work Ant. Out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? But how the fuck and would I know where they people. are tonight? We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need Hang on, I'm gonna save just in case I end up Any fucking something help? up. Uh, yes, please. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Try grouping the notes by who they're about. You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Maybe that will help rule out potential targets first. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I've already Thanks. done that. No problem. Okay. Aunt Williams is fucking done for. Um, Rebecca, so, okay, we can make a timeline. Rebecca Allen walked free with no charges and became a 
Local legend. What is this? 24-hour gas station bought by local ex-lottery winner. Christine's gas and repair has been sold to a man who won the lottery 14 years ago. The new owner claims it will keep me busy on an evening. He has asked to remain anonymous. Who won the lottery then? Okay. So... A man who is asked to remain anonymous will be at the gas station. Anything about the lottery? <gasps> Wait. Call for donations to help Chuck Brody. Drop tickets in the bucket below. For lottery tickets. I just got here. Could you quickly wrap up what's happened so far? So basically, um, since what's happened from last stream, we walked into a janitor's closet and found this board with targets and whatnot. And we're trying to figure out where the killer's next target is going to be. Um, and piece things together. However, if I recall correctly, so to put it into perspective, we have four targets, or we have four suspects. We have Ant Williams, Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, and Rebecca Allen. So, Rebecca Allen was let off scot-free after being part of some weird car crime syndicate. And um, they ended up writing a book and leaving. That's all Rebecca Allen right there. So she is fucking gone. No, no one cares about her. She had relevance to the trailer park. Next, we have Kim Walker, who had this weird thing where she mentioned the flu, but she also like apparently died, question mark, because this is all... Kim Walker got married to Peter Stein and stuff like that. So I don't I don't really know like why it's 84 because she shouldn't be alive according to this article which says that Mrs. K Stein is dead who, you know, Kim Walker and Peter Stein got married. Um but I'm going to ignore that little fact. Festival of Disaster. This is Aunt Williams who broke it. Um and we do know that Aunt Williams is meant to be in town right now because it's 1987 and he's supposed to be here from Tuesday the 1st to September the 6th. Um, guys, stop it, stop it, stop it with the fucking TF2 stuff. I've already done this in the server. I'm not doing it again. Um, I don't really know what this has anything to do with. That's just a kickoff day. I think that's the day, oh, that's the day that the guy broke his leg, I think. Because there's this, right? I don't know. But so Chuck Brody broke his thing and got donated lottery tickets. And hopefully he gets lucky. And now 24-hour gas station bought by, lo bought by local ex-lottery winner, which was a man who wished to be uh, anonymous. And it's a 24-hour gas station. So Chuck Brody should be at the gas station right now. Other than that, I don't think we have enough information to figure out where Aunt Williams would be. But we do know that Aunt Williams is in town. So that's important to keep in mind. But we don't know where he is. So we're going to try... What you want to call it? Um, we're going to try and do that. We're going to try and say that Chuck Brody is at the gas station and they are the next target. How's it going? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Fucking Chuck Brody in the gas station with the candelabra. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. I'm so fucking ready. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Gas station. The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Okay. This should be right. They call me John Detective. Looks like one of those dudes searching for the Zodiac Killer right now. Hey, I'm just that good. Oh, Chuck Brody! Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Oh, Chuck, Nash. Chuck, you gotta listen to me, man. Forrest Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We I like the desperation in Forrest's voice. Oh, God. It's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... We're talking to run. But yeah, go off, Forrest. I, I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck. Jesus! <laughs> it sounds like something blew. No up. shot. We got him out of there. Using bombs now. 
It was I, the gas station. I... Wait, what? Is Chuck? I don't know. Hang on. We're getting a call. Oh. Yes! Yes! Chuck! Forrest. Holy shit! Oh, God, we were God. fucking right! Kind of... We were so right! Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. Nice! Okay, run was the right call. Holy up. shit. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Damn it, that fireball threw me. I've got to get to the hospital. Holy I'm shit. I'm so glad I just said run. I could tell Forrest, the desperation man. in Forrest's voice. I can't thank you enough, but... Yeah. That was fucking cool. Go. I'm so happy. Wait, I... Damn it. We lost him. What was that about today? Oh my god. Let's oh, get it. Let's get it. The call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. No, not a boo. That's a that's a that's a laugh track. Oh my god. No, do not say let's blow this up. While we regroup here on KFAM 189.6. That was a good bait. It baited stream. me with the thing. Is this fit half no? Freddy Fazbear is not currently the whistling man. Oh my god. I saw Spiff playing a FNAF fan game that looked pretty cool. I can't remember what it was called. Um, but I'm thinking about maybe playing that at some point. It looks kind of fun. I haven't played a FNAF fan There's game in a There's gotta be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's <laughs> like the I'm case, out. What, that's not FNAF? Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. By we, you mean me, right? Yep. Like I said... I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. Well, the I pure still have a lot of questions Nash. about those, True. by the way. Me too. So wait, where the fuck am I going? What? What do you want from me? So I'm going back down? For what? For what, though? Why am I going back down? Am I... I think... We fucked up. In terms of... I think the Whistling Man is going to get progressively more and more not on our side. As we keep foiling his plans and shit. I'm too dumb for this game. I, I manage. I think the Whistling Man's going to get pissed at me. What if he's just in there? Hmm. A key? Was this always here? A key? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Where? Oh, hi. What the fuck? Basement storage. Yeah, I think... I think Mr. Killer is gonna get a bit upset with us. I think he's... I think he was thought it was all fun and games at first, was using us as a little, you know, communication medium. Wait. Wait. No hey, fucking way. Before yelling down the intercom? Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Okay. I'm fucking terrified. Hear me out. Remember in the intro of the game, we were in the back alley? What if... What if What if there's like a dead body in here? What if we find a fucking dead body? That would be fucking brutal. Also, sorry I'm a bit slow on chat uptake today. But I am very invested in what the fuck is going on today. Hi. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Well, where do I fucking play it? What? Can I play it in any of these? Hello? Do I have to bring it back up? Do I have to bring it all the way back up? Are you fucking kidding me? There's nowhere to play it down here. At all. Who the fuck is leaving all of these tapes around here with nowhere to play it? Here, let me put that down there. You're fucking for real. There's there's nothing. Oh, okay. Wait, can I leave here? No, okay. Well, I'm stuck in here. I've been I've been stun locked. Forrest, you should listen to that first tape you found. Well, okay, yeah, uh, the issue. Where? <laughs> Is there am I missing something? 
Hello? Anything in the cabinets? Where the fuck? Okay, they call me John Mechanic. Hang on. What do I... What the fuck do I do here? You said... Hang on. That says something about a thing there. Where the fuck is the tape player? Oh, is it here? Are you a tape player? Can I put you in it? Are you a microwave? Are you a... No, you're a player. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> that is not a microwave. Oh, hello, Clive. That's when this all began for me. Mm -hmm. Follow the maps. Find the tapes. I'll be waiting. Wait, George Barrow? We all heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. Hmm. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. So, okay. Maybe I lied. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe what's going to happen is what you want to call it. Maybe Clive wants us to find this shit out and expose it to everyone. You know? Maybe that's why he's letting me be chill and shit. Where the fuck am I? If you're listening to this, then I'm probably dead. What the? I'm a man who likes to stay informed. I've got subscriptions Ooh, to newspapers. A new vinyl for my collection. Okay. Okay. So he what kind of small town conspiracy? I know, right? This is a suspense or scary game. It okay, the game gives really good atmosphere, but you're never really in danger. Though there probably will be a time you are in danger, you just never know when the fuck that is. You always feel like something's going to just pop out and fucking kill you. Even though there's literally no way that can happen yet. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Oh. Okay. Might have to do with the car thefts. I got a fucking broom, man. Better watch your shit. I got a broom and I am not afraid to use it. Okay. Anything else around here? We'll have to tell Peggy about the thing. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face, typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet. Whoa! As though the deceased had been running without... Oh, that was the cabinet. Okay, that was the cabinet. That was the cabinet closing. I swear to God, that was the cabinet closing. So someone was running away from something. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation.
What the fuck is this? Security alarm system. I'm gonna hold on to this. Hang on. Okay. So someone died. Someone drowned. Fucking L. Factory access. Oh, oh my god. I got stuck on this and I was so confused as to what the hell just happened. Should we play Minesweeper? <laughs> Why are we all so obsessed with Minesweeper? Ever since I played it that one time. Okay. So I'm gonna bring this shit out here. What's up, man? We chill? I'm gonna put this down here. And we'll put this down here. These seem important. Peggy, what's up, Peggy? What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. I'm gonna take a Poor drink. George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking. What if it's tape. Peggy? I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape that talks what more if it's about how George died. Dawn? What did it say? Could it have been Sounds the, like the what you want to call it? The medical life. lady? The one who was like, Clive, I swear I didn't talk? Wait, that makes sense. Cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. Wait. I found a tape that introduces a new detail Hang on. story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his Because there was the, the doctor who was getting targeted, and she said... Well, remember when she died? Yeah, after he died. Or, well, she said either way. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? She said... I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. She said... I, um... Clive, I swear I, I, I didn't talk. So maybe she faked the death. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but... Okay. For playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the whistling man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know. Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident, and the killings were getting closer to Wait. Downs Creek. He said he wanted wasn't to do something good. Aunt, for him. Wasn't Aunt, Aunt Williams to coming into he town? He was tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to No, save okay, so them. never mind. Never mind. I lied. Uh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? He said okay, his then. employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? Don't cleaning my food nice. The one who orchestrated the cover up? <sighs> oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Do you think you found everything, Forrest? I think there's got to be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. Who are you? I think so. There's something How much did there. Clive hide down there. Well, if there are more tapes. Then there must be more maps to follow, right? That. that seems to be the case. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Okay. So, Clive and a bunch of other goobers were there when the tragedy happened. And now somebody's coming back for revenge. But just not Clive. Which is weird. What did I miss? Weird shit's happening. That's what you missed. Per usual. Is this it? Yes, it is. Hello. And you are? Okay, there's a cart with a tape on it. I remember where that was. That was a bit further over. Hang on. Where's that cart? Oh my god, my, I am terrified right now. I can like feel my like heart. Toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol was found, the indicating is. elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. Okay. You have to tell Peggy about that. There's a cabinet with a fan on it. Was it this one over here? Yes. And it's just telling me where all the radio recorders are, is it not? Hi, hello, what? Right? This is it. 
It's saying something about this, like, weird battery box, though. What the fuck? Okay, I think we found all of our tapes. So let's go talk to Peggy one last time. And then maybe we have to do some weird puzzle with this manual and some other weird shit. What have you found, Forrest? There's also a tape about... Fear the dark, please turn on the light. I don't have a light switch, man. I'm sorry. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. I wonder what would be the scary next stream. But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. My fault. It was in the newspaper and everything. Do you think you found everything, Forrest? I think there's got to be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. You think so? How much did Clive hide down there? Well, if there are more tapes... Then there must be more maps to follow, right? That seems to be the case. All right, then. <sighs> Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. What the fuck are you? You're weird. You're a thing. Starling security, delivering installations. I'm not entirely sure. Next stream, Battle of Wonder World. I don't know if I can, man. Uh, look, I've done stupid shit, but I don't know if I can do that stupid of shit. Anything down here? No, I keep finding these things with, like, circuits and shit. And they look all fancy, but I can't do anything with them. Shut up! I don't want to hear ominous whirring. I've gotten you. Do you have anything on you? No. But I did get that. So where else can I go? What else is hiding from me? So... Toxicology reports. So it's basically just saying all of the mannerisms in which he died. He was running from something. High levels of stress. Something about a car door. We've already listened to that. We've already checked these, haven't we? What are we missing? Oh, I see. We're missing Humpty Dumpty. We have to go watch the theatrical rendition of Humpty Dumpty. God, how could I have forgotten that? Duh. Hi, guys. So many just random magazines that are like horror things. Got a card one thrown at him. I don't know if that's how that works. See, so, like, this looks important. I'm seeing a lot of that kind of shit. So what do you want from me now? We've had these, which are telling me... Oh, wait. We haven't seen this one before. So this one wants... Okay, that's another cabinet by something else. Is it over here? It is. It is over here. Oh, hello. Hi. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased. This has to be important. Do this for Jimmy. Height into a body of water where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Okay. Sullivan is... is it, was it Don Sullivan? Right, right, right. No, because when she was all panicky, she said Dr. Sullivan, right? Virginia was always the state of Virginia. True. When isn't it? Okay, wait. Report of investigation by county medical examiner. Deceased descendant. George Thatcher Burrow, race white, sex male, age 18. Really? Only 18. Occupation not available. Home address, Carpenter Avenue, Gallows Creek. Type of death, unknown, really. Or found dead, yeah. Time of death, approximately 11 p.m. The deceased is a Caucasian male, age 18. The cause of death is established to be drowning as shown by the signs of asphy asphyxiation. See section 2, paragraph 4 for more details. Abrasions were found on his knuckles, likely from getting into a fight in the past. Matches were with known history of the deceased being aggressive. No other injuries were observed other than were observed, and from the coroner's opinion, there's no evidence of foul play. Additionally, the preliminary toxicology report indicates the deceased high level of alcohol in their blood. It is the coroner's opinion that the deceased went, deceased went swimming while intoxicated, resulting in his drowning. Accident. So, I think the guy died. Just the manner in which they died was not made clear. Running through bushes away from something, getting all scratched up, and then, what you want to call it? Getting all scratched up, 
and then finally falling into the river and hitting their head. So they made no reference to the fact that they were being chased, and instead made it look like an accident from drinking. Interesting. What have you found, Forrest? In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit. Not the car door. Where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. Moved the body? How weird. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded the doctor, uh, Dr. Sullivan, to stop recording. Nah. Dr. Sullivan. <laughs> Sorry, random noise. Virginia Sullivan? She was her caller from earlier. Well, then our caller was involved in the conspiracy around this boy's death. We need to call her back once we finish down here. It, it looks like she might know something about what's going on. I found a written autopsy report. What does it say? And according to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. But that contradicts the tape. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this. Scared Virginia. can we go home? Nope. If We're balls deep. Report, then Virginia will kill us, man. The caller. whistling man will kill us. Wait. The caller from earlier. When we had to call the takeout restaurant. Wasn't her name Virginia? Do you think you found everything? <sighs> I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Uh, and that's why Clive everybody. has been signed and contracted by an employer to not say anything. Okay. Okay. So, Clive, okay. Thank God you're back, Forrest. You're telling me. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this Bro, happening? Bro, I was in the alleyway risking my life. Come on, man. I don't want to hear it from you, Peggy. I, gotta I, I saw him. You're right. He had the mask on and everything. So, what's the plan now? I think we should, seem to have we should on in call the world of tanks. All right. I'll get Intense her on the line. lore while tanks just go off in the background. I mean, when you're ready, shut the music off. You know. We just got some chill tunes playing for you, man. Here, I'll turn it up for you. Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers. <laughs> Everyone just gets to hear this. That's amazing. Fredman Plunger! Plunger! It's me, it's Radio Man. Plunker, hey, it's the Radio Man, Forrest Nash. Radio Man? Radio Man! Yeah. Solving mysteries, saving lives. The huge. <laughs> the huge. God. Right, 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 right on. Plunker, what are you doing at Virginia's house? She asked if we could stay to keep an eye out for that whistling turd. So we're hanging out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They're just having drinks well, and having uh, a good time. Maybe Virginia longer. will be drunk and tell us about it. Because oh, she said she could use a drink. Can I speak to Virginia? Sure thing, radio man. I'll just go get her. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm, I'm glad you're still okay. What if we let her die then? Forrest. Interesting. Sorry, oh, that's interesting. What happens if we let her die? I can't blame you. I'd be jumpy too. I'm so sorry this happened to you, Virginia. I thought I was. I thought. Easy. We're not calling to talk about earlier. We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Me? What would I know? Clive. Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. I don't know that name. Oh, 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 sure, man. Nah, -uh. I got you, you on fucking camera. When you called us the first time. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified, Forrest. Nah, -uh. the janitor at our station, and we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. 
He'll come for me. Oh, you got the Virginia, frap rose. It's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? <gasps> Clive must have been the guy from the beginning He's of the game. Man, he must have. Oh my god. We thought so too. Clive must have been the person from the understand. tutorial of the game. That'll make so All much sense too. Years ago, he... It's okay, Virginia. He's gone. We found. Because there's got to be some relevance to that guy who died at the beginning well, of the game. And. We found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. And it makes sense if he was at the station. I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight. We got you, motherfucker. You. You're, done. You're, You're done. done. You're fucking done. I... All right. Everything makes sense now? It's just now the question is, who the fuck is doing it? And why do they want it covered up? What's the name of that? Clive. He just burst in and he started making What is to give over the reports? What is this? To falsify what was the I name found? of the guy who's running of for president or mayor? No. Teddy Gallows Jr. Well, Wait, was he you do something, they can What was the name of the guy who's dead? Or the stick. The guy who's he, dead was Burroughs, not both. Gallows, right? You see, my sister is Sick. Mm. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, hmm. and it was getting to where I couldn't afford I'm trying it. Trying to think. It's four thirty-four a.m. Jesus Christ! You have school in the morning. Would pay for my sister's treatment. I mean, granted, I can't say much. And I was I up till four a.m. last night with school in the morning too. But if I but... ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. I don't know why he had me do it, but my sister needed me. You have to understand. She needed me. We understand. Thank you. Virginia. Speak for yourself, Peggy. That, that would be God, such a bitch I thing just to say. Want this nightmare to end. This will help end so it, Virginia. Oh, okay. Stay safe, so you go to sleep Virginia. early and then wake up in the morning. That's kind of cool. Okay. So, so Virginia is tied up in all of it's this. It's just the question of Clive why threatened do they want her to this keep quiet falsified. about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? I don't know. It's a good ass question. We could try Sandra. What would Sandra know? I don't know, but we have to start somewhere. So now we're calling everyone anyway, back. Just be so I guess that's the relevance in Don't push too hard. What should I we call don't it? want her to hang up. Oh. I guess that's part of the reason why Be careful. All right. Saving them is important. Because if Virginia died, we jazz, wouldn't have been able to ask about this. How do I throw it again? R? Yeah! Yeah, baby! Uh -huh. Oh, we're so yes, back. You're through. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello, uh, yes, it's Sandra. John Basketball. I'm fucking shooting hoops. The screen. And you're live on air. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. I'm feeling yes. silly tonight. What can I do for you? Uh, well, <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks what? tonight. Aww. We had a few questions. What? My forest, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say yes to just about anything you asked. Ayo? A Ayo? What? What? I, I, he, uh. Anyway, Do you know why the whistling man bro gets all the play. What the fuck? Ha. As as I can tell, he was just a knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He just chased after anybody. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific people, people who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Oh, you're so fucking silly. You're so stupid. Damn it, Sandra, don't play games. I don't know D Wow, that was aggressive. I, I, oh, look at the top. Why were you so sure like, Why were you so aggressive? Go. I'll drive home now or just drive. What? I'm sorry. Why was that so aggressive? Well, I might have gone a bit hard. No, no. I chose the right fucking option there. In my head, a the bit? thought process was saying, yeah, don't play games. This is serious, you know? People are people can die oh, here. Calling her now. What the fuck? Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. What do you mean I fucked that up? 
That was stupid and dumb. I actually fell asleep. Uh -huh. My body chose to go the full seven hours. Hello? I feel that. I feel this that on a spiritual Jazz, level. Jazz, Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello again, Sandra. It's Forrest Nash of 189.16. The Scream. And you're live I love on Forrest. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio Yeah, no, that was stupid. I, I was in like, whatever, uh, whatever. <laughs> We're trying to Greetings, how many people have died? No one. We have saved everyone. We We're okay. Questions. Besides, like, like one guy who I think course. was a scripted death. Yeah, he was. My life, I'd say yes to just about anything you asked. Really? Well, that sounds... <laughs> Ayo! Ayo! I just call you back tomorrow then, too. Ah, uh, you got my number. But what about tonight? Is there anything you want Dude. to talk about right now? <laughs> Remember why we called This forest, forest. guy, man. He's uh, fucking... Of course. Forest is going at the top of the flirting tier list when we make that. Holy shit. Ha! Or like Adele. He was just a knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He'd have chased after anybody. Wow. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific wow. people. People who know about the death of a boy wow. named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Hmm... Have you See, like, don't play games doesn't anything. feel like... Any uh, secrets you've had to keep? What would I have to keep quiet about? I don't know, maybe no, murder? You, you fucking... Heard something. Bad I person? Anything. Even if He's pushing them so hard. Matter. He's manipulating her. That's so ago. mean. Sandra, are you okay? It was years ago. We know. God, yeah, he could just get okay. So the bottom are the bottom yes, thing is just bad. Of course. This studio is my life. After I found the body in the river, what was my studio? Do you understand? Oh wait, so are you right by the river? Oh, you are. Maybe question mark. Yeah, because that's right by the studio. Oh, sure. I understand. <laughs> Get on when with I it. Just kept okay. Going up, he said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet, and everything would be okay. Sandra, who was he? He was. He said. So I guess we're just gonna have to call I everyone. I found the kid in the reservoir instead of the river. He. He. Uh, so that's the reservoir. I'm sorry, I can't do this. And she's gone. Okay, so I think I that was think good I enough, have though. Any better. Yeah. You truly did great, Forrest. Okay. Well, folks, if anyone out there has any thoughts so, on what's going on tonight, please call. Where's in. this river? That's then? good timing. <sighs> the fuck's We've the difference? Got a call waiting just the second. I don't know. I'm getting more confused by the second, but we'll figure it out. He's really good at manipulating. He is. I mean, as any radio host, with me, your host, he has to manipulate people into liking his show. Hi, Boris. I know this is no, really no, blue. no, Everything we are not happened. doing this but shit. No, this. no, no. get the fuck out of here. What is your name? Ponty, Ponty, get the fuck out of here. No, no, I don't want to. Oh, no, Ponty, on. we're not fucking it's doing this. Birthday. No, I Ponty, <laughs> no, we are not doing and this well, shit. Forrest. Ponty, uh, Ponty, uh, what's his name? Thank First name's Peter, but he never So he named him. himself Ponty! But since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, could you believe I'm Ponty. Always, always called him Ponty! Oh, wait, what? Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday you would like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my god, damn it! God! <laughs> this <laughs> fucking <laughs> guy! <laughs> this motherfucker! <laughs> Shut the... Stop you... Calling. Boo! Boo! My Get this guy off the fucking stage! Do it. Don't blame me because Brian Ponty can't control him. This now. motherfucker, uh, I hate him. Don't worry. I hate We're Italians. Italians fucking line. suck. Just pick it up, okay? God, can't have shit. What, is, what YouTube notification have I gotten? God, hang on. Let's check these. It could be severely important. It could be a life-changing scenario. It's just a collar waiting. Just for a it. sad emoji. What the fuck? This is 189.16. Which epic pizza. It's huge. Let's figure out what I'm going to do for dinner Nash. tonight. You're on the air, caller. Uh, my taco meat should still be good. Maybe I'll do that. Ooh. 
Collar. Ponty. Ponty's pizza always the This house. mother fucker. Shut the fuck up, Ponty. <laughs> Ponty, shut the fuck up. Forest? Forest? Can we kill Ponty? Are you okay? Chat, can we kill Ponty? Can we kill Ponty? <sighs> Forest? I <laughs> hope. The whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. Jesus, Forrest. <laughs> so real, so real, Forrest. Let's fucking kill this guy. Too much. It's okay. It's been a high stress night. Don't Fuck worry that guy. About him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. I think I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna yeah. fucking kill him. I will go down there myself call. and kill him. Whenever you're ready. If this mother of a good love cat or mouse worth his pizza, that's so real. Folks. Don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. That's... That's base forest. All I'm gonna say about that. That's base forest. Moving along. I'd like to welcome... What if he does it again? To 189.16. What screen. if it's Ponty and he's getting targeted? With me, Forrest Nash. Who may I say is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Don. Oh, hi, Don. Ah, uh, I bet I know why you're calling. I'm sorry I didn't play your song. There's a lot going on. But please... Uh, never mind that now. First, I'm calling because I need your help. Okay, hold on. Let's override a save. Are you, Are you in please? Danger? Who's next? Oh, God, I love having, I would love to play this game by just being a bitch. Yes, he's after me now. Brian Ponty is huge containment. All employees so. suppressed. We need to get him back. Helping? You didn't exactly help. Maybe I've been helping more than you know. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next. After this is this is killer present happened? music. This music always like plays when he's around. Followed. I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system has me locked out. It's the one in the basement. I need you to help me get inside. Okay. Can a neighbor let you in? Uh, I hope Your weapon is a pizza week. cutter. I don't know anybody. Just yet. has like the chef's hat as this. There's not even a suit. buzzer here. Only the the keypad for the entry code. Yeah, I know where that is. I need that code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the New Woodside apartment building between Town Hall and the Trailer Park. But I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. Was that? Sounds like a noisy part of town. It is. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing in. Oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. This night can't get any. He's coming down the street. I don't think he's seen me yet. Force, please. I need your help. I need the code for that security system, or I'm gonna die. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says. Okay. So yeah, we have the manual that's in the basement. We need to go get that now. Keypad, and it looks like it wants a okay. six-digit number. <sighs> we'll see what we can do. Got it. Thank you. Forrest. Yeah, there's a manual for that in the yeah, basement. Don't worry, Don. Thank you, Forrest. I love this thing. It's great. What are you here for? Okay, we got we gotta go get her. We gotta go get her, man. For you all to enjoy. I'll play Don's song. Why the hell not? Into her apartment. Can I introduce the song? You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me, or was there something? Yeah, it wasn't just you. Something was weird. There was no that. whistling. Yeah. Well, tell you what, we have a Starling Four Thousand or whatever here at KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, I'm not sure who, but to help someone. What if it's Dawn? 
Okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments, and somewhere, Clive probably has the papers for the Starling the 4000. The Woodside Apartments. Where are the Woodside Apartments? That doesn't track! Right? That's not just me. She was right next to a train station. There was no train here. This is the train. And it goes over here. If the train was here and she was all the way over here, the train would not have been that loud. Also, what fucking train is running to the waste disposal after it just caught on fire? Something's not adding up. Does this one live with a dog? Maybe. That could be like the trailer park, maybe. It's fucking weird. Let's go get the manual. I don't trust this Dawn job. Also, how did she know that the, uh, what you want to call it? The shit was in the basement and that she was leading us the right way to that. What That's kind of weird. Apartments. Coming soon, hmm? No pets. Not that was until I, what? That was that was complete accident. By the way, that was I did I did not mean to pick that up at at all, like whatsoever. I just she's being blackmailed to kill you, maybe, or maybe she's trying to break in there for something. And also, no pets allowed. Luxury and affordable apartments that are perfect for you located in the center of Gallows Creek away from any busy train lines or industrial sectors that are perfect for both working professionals and those young families. Property features two to three bedrooms, bathroom, modern open kitchen plan. Apartments are fully furnished and proven children friendly. Smokers and young children allowed, but no pets. Apartments available from October 1st. Reserve now. 300 per month? That's actually a fucking steal. What? In this fucking economy? Shit. Order delivery form. Starling must have left this by accident. This system's not even installed at Woodside. Yeah. Starling so Security, Woodside delivered but not installed, requires new parts. Client opted for manual side. Is she trying to get into someone's house then? Where's that manual? We had a manual for it. Where was the manual? Where did we have it? I thought I had it out here, did I not? Unless I bring it somewhere else. Well, no, we had it. We were holding it when we finished the thing. So maybe it's upstairs with us. Who knows? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go check upstairs with us then. Maybe it's on the desk. The 80s guys had it easy with the rent. Dude, $300 in this economy. Whew. I could afford that. Per month? Okay. So yeah, this motherfucker is being a bit odd. I would like to once again reiterate, when I picked this up off this desk, there was zero relevance at all, if that makes sense. Like, I, I didn't know that that was that. I didn't even mean to pick that up. Anyway, let's go back up, see if we can say anything to Peggy. You're so weirdly suspicious. I don't like you. It's so weird how, like, safe I feel in this place now. At first, it felt so weird to be anywhere, but... Peggy! Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? Yeah, a whole shitload. Nothing shit by luck. way of key codes. I see. Any ideas, Peggy? Dawn says she's stuck outside the Woodside oh, Apartments with the whistle. There it fucking nearby. is. She's locked okay, up yeah, because so it was there with security me. system. I feel like yeah, Dawn's lying? For sure, yeah. 4, right. And we had the same security system delivered here. Clive was going to install it, so... Check the basement. I guess that's where Clive would have stuff like that. I wonder if she's no purposefully saying Starling that she's somewhere User in man. order to slur uh, the whistling man elsewhere. These codes should come in handy. Welcome back, Forrest. Wouldn't that make sense? Maybe she's lying on purpose. Security man. <laughs> well, obviously she's lying on purpose, but. Good. And did you find anything else? I found a flyer for the apartments. They're not open for move-in till next month. No pets, and they're located pretty far from the trains. Ah, uh, so Dawn probably isn't trying to get into Woodside, is she? Nope. You remember who else has a Starling 4000 installed, though? 
Oh my god. Roller Ricky! I... Do you think we should give Ooh. him a call? Is that crazy? I don't know what you'd say, but... Ah, shit. Do we call Roller Ricky? Do we make sure he's chilling? I feel like we should, but... Shit, but Roller Ricky is right by the... <gasps> no, Roller Ricky has a dog. Roller Ricky has a fucking dog. Yes, yes, we're calling him. Idea. We're calling him. Okay, Roller Ricky has a dog. I got the number here. Holy shit. Ricky, Ricky, we're coming for you, man. Through. We got you, Ricky. Ricky has a dog, and he's right by the train station. The dog is his, like, homie, remember? Shit. He probably can't hear it over the music. Forrest, I don't know about this. This is super weird. Okay, Just put me through we do the alarm. I'll take care of this one way or another. Okay, if you say so. Okay. So what we when need to ready, do is set off the off. fucking alarm. We're setting off the alarm. Line one, whenever you're ready. I fucking got you. I'm gonna save, but I am fucking... There? I'm this saving Ricky's Forrest ass. Nash from 189.16, The Scream. Oh, this is set of all security back. measures. What's the code to the gate? Give entry code, give alarm test activation code. However, note that that disables all security measures, but that'll... We shouldn't give her the entry code. The entry code isn't a good idea. Alarm test. We shut down the alarm and let Don in, hopefully. And let him know. It's okay, Rick. He's got a shot, does he? What the fuck does the maintenance call code do? You know what? Uh, ah. Entering commands, sequentially key depressions will be made within four to five seconds of one another. Four to five seconds to last without a key depression. The entry will be aborted and repeated from its beginning. Be sure to observe the precaution when performing any of the procedures in this manual. If you make a mistake. Okay. Would the maintenance call code change the stuff though? Maintenance is the safest option. The code is 311. Two, one, two. Thank you, Forrest. I'm sorry. Maintenance is not currently available. Please fall back between. Maintenance? I think you gave me the wrong number on purpose. Well, I'll just do this. No! No! We should have set the alarm. <gasps> Ricky! Hey, Forrest, what did we do? Okay, we go we go back and set off the alarm immediately. Okay, that's what we do. Uh ba -ba 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 -ba. what's the most recent one? That's fine. That's fine. Uh maintenance is fine. Okay. So yeah, she fucking that little that little bastard. From 189.16, the scream. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. Yeah. What's the code to the This this little All right. The code is 191. Yeah. It's 191519. Thank you, Forrest. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Get fucked! Stupid idiot! You dumb motherfucker! Son of a bitch. Ah! Yeah! Yeah, dumb motherfucker! Ah! Ricky! Get out of there, Ricky! Is she? Ricky! Ricky! Yeah, stay out! Nobody's disrespecting Yeah, Ricky! Right. Let's fucking go, Ricky! Ricky got the fucking sticky! He oh, fucking did it! Cops. He fucking did oh, it! God. Let's fucking go, Ricky! Hello? Is someone there? 
Ricky, get back inside and turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. She? Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him. That was the whistling man. The alarm gave me just enough time to get my Ooh. rifle. <laughs> Ricky got I the like sticky. Folk, but I can't let anything happen to Maxie. He's my best friend, you know? Fuck him up, Ricky! Listen, man, I'm heading back inside. Gonna barricade that window. So man, Dawn was building up trust with us. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever you want. That's a Fuck yeah, deal. Ricky. I thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. We're going skating, nice. baby. Talk to you soon. Okay, Gallows Creek. Here's some music. While we so the whistling the man story. might be the whistling woman, Just for all happened. we know. And that must be why the whistling man only communicated to us by using radio fragments. That would make sense. So the whistling. Yes, the whistling man is a man whistling woman. I didn't know that women could whistle, actually. This is insane. Insane news. I know. I, I can't believe it. Transgender whistling man? You spoke to her I mean, I support multiple it, you know? times. I thought she was just regular Gallows Creek Strange. Really, Forrest? <laughs> yeah, sorry, you Why guys are all fucking weird. Did that song? To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I think she was just she trying to gain trust. An announcement. I think she's been trying to gain our trust so that she could okay. do that. Kill the music and you can make the announcement. Okay, chat. Okay, you're live in three, two... Hey, hey folks, guys. This is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman, one who might manipulate but what is you into history? letting her in before she attacks you. I'm sad to say, but it's time to trust no one. The killer was calling themselves Dawn. That sounds right. This could be a fake name. Yep. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. <laughs> Thanks. Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light on our killer. Okay. Oh my god, I hate hey, my Hey, we had a call come me. in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. Okay. So, basically, I sent to do with George. Yeah. Okay. You're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, man. Murphy? Damn straight. Murphy! What's going on, Murphy? Murphy! No, man. What's up, man? I've just been listening to the We love Murphy. Home. Better not be fucking Brian. Since you asked folks to call in if they could help out. Who's well, Brian? I'm calling. What's up, Murphy? I don't know if I can say as much as other folks. Yeah, I think we gave the right advice on people to stay inside. I figure I wouldn't be a good role model to Fernando. If I didn't try to help, you know? That's so real. That's so real, man. You're a good father. You're a good father, Murphy. You gotta be that role model for Fernando. That is honestly just crucial. Sorry Absolutely. I'm saving a lot. I'm just being Fernando's very cautious a lucky right now. Kid. Oh, thanks. So, uh, what do you want to know? Uh, well, what can what you can tell can us? You <laughs> tell <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, really. All right. Well, do you know anything about the death of George Barrow? Absolutely nothing. Okay. What about the killer herself? Herself? <laughs> Man, I, I didn't get my ass kicked by a lady. Now <laughs> Based. I was told to it was a man, man. But he was also, you heard she, the question call, mark, right, was also really yep. built so at the beginning of the woman, game. And you were trained by a VHS, Murphy. I, I know, but... Man, how could it have been a woman under that mask? Let's just but the on. point of the mask is, man, to, to, to mask it. About the history of the whistling man. Couldn't let him know. No, sir. Tonight's the first time I ever heard of him. What, the killer's an what? impressionist? I moved here three Maybe. That would be an interesting man. thing to throw out there, but we haven't what seen any em evidence me? evidence to that yet. Hey, man. No worries. Just thank you for trying. Right. Sorry I couldn't help you all more, man. Now, if you'd have asked me about... Hang up, hang up, hang up, hang Forrest, up. Forrest, we hang have up. a call coming in. Sorry, Murphy. I think that's all we've got time for right now. 
Boo. No, keep Murphy on the line. Keep him on the line. I want to hear about Fernando. Damn it. But perhaps our next caller has. Damn it. I want to hear about the Fernando Lord. Let's find out. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. Please help me. My name is Casey Moore. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. My best friend's been stabbed. He's the he's fuck. What everywhere. the what the fuck? What Jesus Please fucking help calm me. the fuck down. Easy, easy. Take a breath. Relax. Okay, okay. We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place when we heard this whistling all of a sudden. He just started freaking okay. out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that, and I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Oh no, Forrest. Then what happened? He went up the road and talked to someone. I couldn't really hear or see anything. So that must have been it Ricky's. Like he might have known the person, and they just stabbed him. Casey, was his attacker the whistling man? The who? They had a mask and wore all black. Okay. That's all I know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. I waited until they were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. Garage. Wait. Why didn't she make sure he was dead? You're close enough, take him. I can't drive, so like right there? we need an ambulance. Where's the hospital? Forrest, the ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. Where is the hospital? You, uh, get uh, you can get it there. Copen Zeeth. Okay. Where's he? Can here? you tell us where your friend was stabbed? Okay, we're doing he fucking first aid now, stomach. chat. Surgeon simulator. Do not pull the knife What's out. What's your friend's name, Casey? We'll be right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Yes, ma'am. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. <clears throat> we have a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... Well, you know. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... Nancy Listen, Drive. you're going to have to get him here. We need to see him, and we can't get there ourselves Nancy right Drive. Now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding Where's out Where's Nancy fast. Drive? All right, listen. Where the fuck... We need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood first, and then finding someone to stabilize Chat, him. where the fuck is Nancy stabilize Drive? stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? No. Me neither. Uh, Meh, whatever. Damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can. Okay, and great. Leave the rest to you. You think you can handle that? Guess I'm a fucking paramedic now. We don't really have much choice. Hit me. The video is okay. the cops now. Yeah, I mean the cops aren't doing shit today. Bleeding out. Then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Okay. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Clean cloths when slowed. <laughs> Got it. I think. You said he was stabbed, it's right? My new job, man. This is my medical training. With is still in him. Don't take it out. Yep. It's stopping the worst of the bleeding right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense, though. Gosh, I know. I know basic stuff. Actually, actually, I knew all this, chat. But I think we can handle I all this. this. Glad you got it so right far. Faster. There's more to go. I'm still with you, Doc. What okay. else do we need to know? I know all this because just lost shit. I know. Blood, he may enter shock. If he does, act fast. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of it. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Okay. Try to keep him warm. Get him to rest and reassure him. I have a mental image of everything I need to do in my head. <sighs> All right. Uh, don't replace bandages. Okay. Elevate his legs. Keep him warm and calm. She's going to ask to turn on the air conditioning. This is a lot. Where I'm the really fuck sorry. is Nancy Drive? That's as much as I can give you right now. Try oh, there it is. It's right there. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him. Oh, you're like right fucking there. Good luck. 
Okay. All right, Forrest. Casey's still on line one. Just cut off his leg, true. Hello? Oh, oh, Forrest, are you there? Yep, yep. Wow, wow, wow. I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. Okay, well, stop I it. Help. I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. So you get it. But he's still bleeding. I don't know what to do. Kay. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. What about the knife in his leg? It's gotta be hell. Should I pull it out? Nuh uh No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get. Okay, hang on. I need to save here. The worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I'm gonna <laughs> stop dying AC, suggestion. please. It's like no, don't my worry, dying Casey. wish. We're a team here. <laughs> I need the We're AC all going on. To get Jason please. Casey, I'd rather die cold than right hot. Now. That's bitch shit. I think knife. we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's okay. All right, they're in a garage right now. They're not in a car. Okay, there's no AC here, unfortunately. His dying wish will not be fulfilled. I guess I've got my jacket. Ah, uh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, so how do we fasten a knife with a jacket? The rags feel like they're the most versatile, and the laundry could be used to stop the bleeding. The jacket could be used to keep him warm eventually. Yes, yes, that's it. We use the cleaning rags to tie the stuff on. We use the laundry to apply a cloth for the blood, and we use the jacket to keep him warm. That's what we do. Take the cleaning rags. And hold them over the wound. I really hope these are clean. Here we go. I'm sorry, Jason. It's secure. I'm putting pressure on his okay. stomach again. Good. No, I think that was the call. Make it. Forrest, can I have a word? <laughs> he said a fan would work too. Okay. Casey, I'm going to have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything, and we'll be there. I promise. Okay. I'll wait. Jason? Okay, what the fuck do you have to say right now, Peggy? What What do you What's have to up, say? Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? <sighs> You're right. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. Bro is dying. He needs what? someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. To drive him. Any suggestions? Could somebody, can nearby, somebody help? nearby help them? Maybe drive them to the hospital? You know, that's exactly what I was wondering. Do you have anybody in mind? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training. What are you guys going on course. about? Me and Karen missed guys, it because chat. we were away on a... Chat, just get pitches. It's not that hard. Getaway. If I can do it, you can. I, never mind. So, how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said there are 25 Nancy drives, right? got catfish by the killer. Yeah? Why? I don't know if catfish is the right term, but he got baited. We put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Okay, so cheap houses Probably, by there. But I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's oh, numbers. Okay. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are a couple of problems with that. Do you actually have the key for once? I was going to say, this lady has the key to everywhere. <sighs> it's sensitive information. So Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great. Great. Do you have any idea what Sorry, the combo my face. the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note taker, though. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Okay. Right. There is something else. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Have you ever heard, the future is floppy? Peggy, what the not, hell are you no. talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things that have information on them. Oh my god, it's 1987, shut up. And they do something. 
Peggy, I know what a floppy disk is. <laughs> anyway, Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records. The future's floppy, Jack. Come on. Floppy disks. Start making sure I you're it's the up to date with your floppy disks. Files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. <laughs> the You'll floppy of 87. That. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Why do you have every have fucking around. key in this facility? Huh? Bye. Leaving. Nah. -uh. Leaving. Bye. Bye. Good. I'll patch my mic down to the office so you'll hear me over the. I'm leaving. Off. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Master of unlocking. Unlock all doors in the station. Okay then. Wait. So where is it? Oh, cope and seethe. Okay. So there's an office somewhere? Question mark? Was it upstairs or downstairs? I think it's down here, right? Oh, here maybe? Private. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, wow. What a fucking office, I guess. Why does everyone have a map of the whole town in their office? What the fuck? Okay. This certificate is to certify that Reginald Scott has successfully completed the standard course in first aid to the injured. Okay, well, that's a good thing to have. Um, bit of a newcomer. He, he only got it this year, but that's okay. I believe in him. Okay. Reginald Scott. And sightings. Okay, don't care about that. Hey, man. Got anything fucking wacky here? Nope. Okay. Looks like I need a four-digit code. Text forever. Need to write pitch document. Good title. Bring back original protagon villain. Can I write notes? Can I write like a little thing? It says, sorry for breaking and entering. Hint, very important date. Remember Reggie Jr.'s birthday is... Nine, is 9-10, not 10-9. Last year was a disaster. Okay, so we need to find out what Reggie Jr.'s age is. And go from there. Insert floppy disk. Maybe we have to find the flop. Oh, hello. Ask Jeannie where those tapes are. It's been weeks now. Okay. Greater boss is an amateur writer. God, this guy, man. He's not making it in this fucking industry. All right. What the fuck? Deep cuts off. Pizza delivery killer with a pizza cutter. Free slice on me. Terrifyingly, there's never any pizza. What happens to the original delivery guy? Maybe write him in as the final girl's boyfriend. Smart Beautiful takes place on 1107. Paduka Dukes, thank you so much for the follow. She's smart, beautiful, resourceful, lactose intolerant, and flies the divide between her and the pizza killer. See, the pizza killer is actually going to be Ponty. We're going to kill Ponty. Um, Coke could just be 0910. That is true. Takes place on um, November 7th. Very important date for the town. Great Goose Gathering event where a large number of geese appear suddenly and save the town from starvation. Try to link this into the greater story. We need to kill off Megan's support network throughout the movie, like Axe 3, but even scarier. Maybe partner with Ponty's Pizza for the launch. God fucking God. Okay, so it's either 1107 or what you want to call it. Um, 910. Nice. What can I say? Built different, I guess. Personal file, Hedges, John. Nash. Whoa. Hey, hey, you got what on me? Hey, 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 what's bro got on me? Hey, hey, man. Just gonna, just gonna check this. Just gonna check out my files. Thank Get you very much. Peggy. Apparently, I'm a lone wolf. We do have someone dying right now. On possible That's so fucking funny. I can read the rest of this later. Okay. Forest Nash, show host. 5th April, 940. Come on in Romero Street. Phone number, whatever. I can't believe we actually got the Forest Nash here on Gallows Creek. His motivation may be low, his demands are a bit beyond our means, and he's currently blacklisted from any reputable stations. But honestly, we don't have a reputation to lose. Forest isn't really integrating with the team. Seems to have this lone wolf thing going on. Heard him call Jeannie Janney, Janine, and Brenda in his first week. Hopefully this changes when he gets settled. I paired Forrest with Peggy for the show. They seem to have developed a relationship of sorts pretty quickly, which is good because we sure don't have the budget to pair him with Karen. What a guy. Okay, so we need our boy, Reginald Scott. 
Reginald. Peggy. We'll come look at these later, but I'm going to leave it for now just so that we can... What you want to call it? Do this shit. Oh, wait, what? Wait, he's not in here, though. Wait. We don't have a file on him. Reginald Scott. Wait. Huh? Okay, let's try John Hedges, maybe? Hi. It's gotta be on one of these floppy disks. Oh, holy fucking shit, what was that? What the fuck was that? Fuck you. Shut up. Fuck you. God, go away. Go away. Shoo, shoo. Nah, uh nah, uh nah, uh Fuck you. John Hedges, news reader, July 19th, 93. 14 anti drive. John refused to engage with the first aid trainer during the course. I know he's a war medic, but it's station policy to send everybody regardless. It's this guy. It's this guy. We got this guy. He's the right guy. He's the right guy, chat. I'm fucking leaving. John apparently has a bunch of medical equipment in his home that he procured from the military of his services. That legal donated reports reports to John again about eating the free samples that Braddock said. We can refuse to survive. He's 14 anti drive. He's literally 11 houses away. I'm saving my game. I'm going upstairs and I am never looking back. Bye. John Hedges, what the fuck was his number again? Hang on, I'm gonna, just in case I need that. Uh, 5420735. Okay, okay. John Hedges, news reader. Bye, guys. Bye. Oops, he's never screamed like that. Spooked me. That is my genuine fear scream. If you ever hear that scream come out of me, that is my, like, I genuinely just got fucking startled scream. I'll scream a lot for, uh, you know, the, the, uh, what you want to call it? For the bit? But that is my genuine scream. I don't know if you're talking, if you're saying that, Max, because of the fucking scare, or you're actually heading out. If so, see you, Max. Just a silly knock. Yeah, a fucking terrifying knock. Peggy, we're calling John Hedges. Right now. Is the next TF2 stream? Never. Peggy. Peggy, I need, I need you here. Peggy? 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 Can you, can we talk here? Peggy? Peggy? P Peggy? What? You might need to look at all the files to check out the next scene. <sighs> I fucking hate it here. I fucking hate it here. I actually hate it here. I actually fucking despise it here. I want to go home. I want to go fucking home. Okay. Hi. Nash Forest. Weaver Peggy. I don't give a shit about Peggy. Hey, Lawson Karen. Hey, Karen. Okay, Karen Lawson, senior producer, 22 Nancy Drive. She really stepped up to her duties in recent months. She's fully taken how much to show alongside the Timberline twins. Great. Started mentioning Peggy. I think this will be really good for Peggy. They're even doing training getaways. So I expect the producer guy. Don't care. Don't care. You got nothing fucking relevant. You are dumb and stupid, and your job is dumb, and I don't care about it. Hey, Gary or Bradley. How you doing, man? I don't I don't like it here. God. When I heard Brad is our station's food critic, people said I was crazy. Crazy, okay. Bradley and Barbara seem to spend a lot of time together. Because I'm learning about food, I end up missing. Cool, nothing about anything related to medical history there. Uh, hey, Peggy, you want to give me some insightful commentary? Because I don't like being alone with my thoughts right now. I'm a little terrified. Someone is knocking. They're coming for me. Hey, Peggy. <laughs> I think Red crazy, I was crazy. Well, true. Maybe don't bring Peggy. those little drink Peggy. umbrellas Peggy. into work for a while. Secretly, he's getting... Yeah, I did that, and then you gave me jack all, Peggy. You're right. I'm sorry. I need hi, to focus hi, on positive hi, candidates. Hi, Barbara's really getting really on well with all the staff here. Everybody We're gave her hurry. some great feedback at the last review. Something in Brad called a hunch. Barbara got another cat recently. There's at least five now. Daisy Murphy, Penelope, Freddy, and Lord Winston. Freddy Fazbear? I need to monitor productivity. Barbara laughs when I told her the concept of the new horror script. Cool, 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 cool. Who do we like? What's the guy that we like? It's uh, John Hedges. John Hedges is cool and silly and quirky and goofy. Cool, bye. I'm fucking leaving and never looking back. Ever. God. I hate it here. I hate it here. I actually fucking hate it here. 
Buy scary office. Yup. Yup. Never coming back. Never looking back. It's just an office. Come on, guys. It's just an office. Nothing bad's happening there. Hey, Peggy. I found some really insightful stuff. I would love it if we could... Oh my fucking god, do I have to use the buzzer down there? Do I have to use the fucking intercom down there? Oh my fuck. Here, I'm fast traveling. I think I have to use the intercom down there. Yo. Hey Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find That was what stupid. I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. Alright, good work. Who should I Hello? Is oh my god! There? Please pick up! Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Okay. What's happening? What do I do? Did he have booze earlier? He's going into shock. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. But the bleeding seems to slow down. Did I that just up? means he's losing a lot of blood. I'm sorry. Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. I I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? I'll be Jason's Casey, lights. I need you to elevate Jason's Not the legs. We need to get the blood Ooh. flowing to his body. Ooh, the music. Got it. Stay Ooh, the music. Stay with me. I'm just gonna move you. This, this means he no longer has blood. Yeah. This means he's losing okay. blood. I brought his legs up on the box. I'm looking at my notes. We need to get Jason as warm and comfortable as Jacket. possible. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Yeah. Why are we talking about nothing there now? I'll wrap him in some blankets. Just give me a second. You'll be fine, Jason. You'll be fine, Jason. Cope and see. There was bandages. Should I get him new ones? Or oh god. Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top okay. of They call me John Medic. I know how this works. This is manifesting a distortion. Jason's got this. I believe in him. I'll fix his bandage and get him warm. Jason, just drink the blood. That'll put it back in your body. Filter it through a straw and drink it. It'll go back in. Trust. Back with tacos, huge. Just drink it, man. Don't be fine. Jason it's not looking good. <laughs> Imagine. Just make sure he knows he's going to be okay. Okay? Okay. But please, I, I can't give him what he needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working on it. Please, help. I can't lose him. All right, Forrest. We need to hurry. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too well. That's all percent run and wide. Who was it? I mean, some of those are just bad decisions. Of John Hedges. He's called John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training. But he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. Really? I never really spoke to him before. Nice. Oh, all the music. Huh? Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, stay away from that window. All of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. All right. What's his number? Uh, five four two zero seven three five. Calling now. Let's hope he picks. Uh, who the hell is this calling? Yo, what's up, John? What time is it? John, it's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. Just leave me a note like everybody else. It's not a work emergency. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man, or... Never mind. He's lost a lot of blood and he's passed out. We need you to help him. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is gonna die if Come we on, don't John. help him John. right now. John. Seriously, I, I haven't been called on for over ten years. Where's the patient? What's his condition? Just, just he's down the 25 street. Twenty-five Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. Twenty-eight one stab wounds and one to the leg. <laughs> The knife is still in, in his leg, and the stomach wound It's you? Open. It's me? I'm the killer? Let me grab a few supplies, and I'll head right over. Damn, <laughs> John, John Lobotomy's coming in. Thank you, He's John. got this. 
Well, let them know you're on your way. Good luck. Hello, Casey. What happens if you just are call you like there? random other people? How are we doing? Bad. Jason seemed really weak, and then just started thrashing. What about now? Is he still thrashing? Let's go, John. John's he got this. Out. John's our boy. Please tell me you found someone. John's an interdimensional help. being. He'll Casey, teleport. Help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. You hear that, Jason? Someone is coming. Bro is thrashing, and she's trying to reassure him. Just hold on for me, okay? Just hold on. Come on. Don't be fine. John Hesson. John! John! No, nah, actually, don't trust the neighbors. That's the whistling man. He's he's impersonating. I'm guessing that's Jason there. Yeah, John, Jason, we got you. I'm gonna need your help. Forrest, Peggy, don't you two worry. Fuck yeah, John! Fuck yeah, John! Okay. Yeah. I have to go now. Good luck, everyone. Fuck yeah, John! God, I hope he's gonna be John's got right. us. And with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. Phew. Well, kind of wacky how the intercoms are linked to the, the KFAM. Like, I don't know why it does that. All right, we're fine. What if I just like <gasps> that one closes fast, real fucking fast? Hey, is anyone down here? Any any whistling men by chance or women? I don't judge. Dude, if the whistling man's built like that, and it's a woman. Did she bench press me? I, I can't say these things. I can't say these things anymore. Okay, uh, hi, I'm here now. Let's throw on a different track because we've listened to this one like eight fucking times now. Let's do... Oh, we can do this one! This is the one we found in uh, Clyde's office. Fuck yeah! For your Fuck yeah! Pleasure. It's Caged Tiger with their single... Yeah, that's how silly cliche this goodbye. game is. It's really well written. I agree, honestly. It's getting pretty late. It's actually, like, this might be your last really break good. For the night, so try to enjoy I love the writing in this game, and the voice actors are phenomenal. Whoever voiced Forrest is so good. Every single thing we do with Forrest Let's is just roll. good. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna save real quick. Man, yeah, no, I okay, just story-wise, it's so. It's almost like it's like a dark comedy almost. Like, I think that's like the best way I can describe it. Welcome back to 189.16. The most voice acting game, especially I'm able to end up getting I as good as this. I know, right? We have another caller on the line. How are you tonight, caller? Is Ricky, what's oh, up, Ricky? Maxi. Hey, Ricky, my boy. Again. How are you both doing? Oh, uh, we're good, man. Thanks to you. It's kind of nice, like though, because it's like Forrest angel. is like that be keeping everyone happy. Forrest. Like, oh, that's no, why he's so upbeat, despite her? everything happening. Maybe he's like kind of like the little light. Party. All right, everyone. Let's Wait, calm thing in general down. seems fun, I think. Yeah, Ricky, I like fucking around with my I'm voice. I'm glad we could help you and Max. I'll talk about that in a second. Is there anything else we can help you with, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that might help you. Oh? What's that? You see, man, uh... Oh, me and Jason, Jason know each other. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallus High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Runner Ricky, they called me. <sighs> All right, and what does that have to do with tonight? Well, because George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team, too. Tell me about okay. him. What was George like? I didn't know him for long, man. Sad to say. We had our first over and over again, trying to get a perfect space down on found. Yeah, I can imagine. He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky, were you there when George drowned? No, man. Once the party turned, I beat beat out of there. Man, I remember George and his girl there. There was a whole lot of love, man. I could see it, you know? Oh. Ricky, please. What was her name? I never got her name, man. Ooh. You just called her Bean. I, I didn't really know her before. Okay, her then. Then what did she look like? Please. Okay, tell us then. You remember. I so remember she's girl, mad about the cover up. What does that have to Ricky, do with the, like. You said the party full. didn't last long. Sorry, what happened? Your muscle spasm just jump scared me. We were just having a good time, and then the next thing I knew. Everyone was running for their life. Ooh. I looked up, 
and saw the goddamn whistling man in the trees. And uh, he's in the trees. And I never ran so fast in my life. Don't cause that again. Straight home. Which responds to the name Bean. Yeah, that'll be cool. Didn't know about George until next morning at school. I'm guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? That the whistling man was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but uh, I always felt. Oh. If anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. And. Ricky, it wasn't your fault. You're not a bad person. I know that now, ma'am. Asshole, just learn, say but... fuck you, you should have died. Yeah. I just thought I'd tell you all what I know. Thank you, Ricky. Fuck, Ricky. Ricky. Thank you. Fuck, you got Ricky. It, man. Anyway, I think it's time for me and Max to free up your phone lines. One of my favorite character tropes is the Let's like, the like no, chill no. like dude personality who just uh, when he's right, serious folks. it like really like hits we you. Got a new lead you know. In the case. If anyone has any info about this mysterious bean, please call in. If she was George's girlfriend back then, but like I, I always love it when it does she's that. Probably it's just in so her cool. mid to late thirties now. Huh. Oh, we have another call just... coming in. But hang on. What's up, Peggy? Is it Dawn's number? Peggy. Peggy? You're gonna want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. All right, folks. It's time for another track. Here's I can't tell if that was meant to be like back and good or bad. We'll be right back. After this. I wonder if it's the police officer, maybe. Uh, I hope okay. this is good news, Peggy. Same reason I love nuts, sack and cheese. I, yeah, that's fair. Find out for yourself on line one. Hello? Forrest! Leslie! I'm glad I got back through to you. Yo! Sounds like it's been a busy night. Okay, okay. Guys, it's Leslie, our 911 operator. That's base as fuck. Leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're all right. Doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. Uh, anyway. Okay. Got back into radio range a little while ago. So you're close. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. It's been a long uh, night. Since you found Sheriff Matthews, it's only See, I think years. Sheriff Matthews and the guy in the house are the only night. two known casualties. Well, it shouldn't be too much longer now. I'm glad I got through to you. I wanted to There's gonna be like road spikes and they're gonna fucking crash. I made it to Henderson. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines and they had no idea what was happening. After I told them, well, their sheriff sent a goddamn squad back with me to stop this. Yeah! That's great news! Yeah! That's crazy about the They phone. got the feds! Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot. <laughs> I think we were playing as Clive in this tutorial. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town. But if we don't know where the whistling man is, I think the tutorial is, we can't was Clive. Get him. Her. That's where you come in. We helped enough. Indeed. You can count on us. What do you Swap need? Swap this fucker out it of existence. It's a long shot. But here goes. Every single time those two whistling lines cut off text, I feel like something bad's about to happen. I'm just kind of conditioned to and that, then you know. She calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get Okay. Her. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in. So once her location There's good music for this. We'll it's like our, we're, 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 we're getting we're getting the fucking feds. We got this. I'll do my best. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Boris Nash's interview of a lifetime. Anyway, I'll radio the okay. other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Fuck yeah, Leslie. Take care now. We'll see you soon, Leslie. <sighs> Thank okay. God. It sounds like this is almost over. So yeah, probably 4 a.m. is our cutoff this. time. It's the time we're trying to get to. Best get we don't waste any here. time then. Let's get back on air. You got it. Time to turn the music off. Bringing okay. you back live now. We got a call. Welcome Who's back calling? to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. 
The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say, things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring Massive. in our next caller. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hit a, uh, I gotta hit a quick, pa, fuck, <laughs> never mind. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. John! John, John, my boy! I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. John, is, is he gonna be okay? He's a fighter. Fuck yeah, Jason! We got, we got our boy! We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much! Jason! If you haven't been there, then... God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Casey has a really good voice of actor. Course, I love her Casey. voice actor. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Is this Forrest? Jason! 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 It's good to hear you, Jason. Yeah. How are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, wait, that's a lot. It would be more of a, like, uh, more of a... Got a hole in my stomach. Yeah. yeah. There's a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the edge off. So, I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> Bro's doped up. <laughs> Bro's. <coughs> take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. I don't know why he doesn't sound super- well, he does now! Before that, I- I needed to call you. I'm guessing the whistling man- Oh, maybe he's got some there. info for me. Yes. Yep. Yes, he is still as out far there. As we know, got any- anyway. got any juicy details? Oh, I'm a reporter now. That. I'll note everything down. God damn it. Gotta remember Actually, at the beginning I'm of the game when I had my fucking notepad out? I wanted to talk to you <laughs> about what happened earlier. My notepad oh. still had shit from, uh, spoke to day 47 on attack. the bottom of me. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's got the uh Is he all right? The tree for my uh, work types. He was attacked earlier, but this call came after. Okay, I'll focus on the story. Hey, sorry guys, that I keep diverging from. I'm really from it. sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. It's definitely going to be another situation. It might be Dawn. Happened, I'll be Dawn right might try to be, you know, sure, be a bit silly. Ricky. Sorry, Jason. Uh, where was I? Ah. Yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. Yeah, Ricky's good. That's a relief. He told us about George. So I feel like there's Sounds some like casualties that wouldn't been, wouldn't have now. impacted much, but it's been you tough know, to hold it all in. it's gonna be Bonty. Like we gotta kill Bonty. Something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. It was hell. And then the town just moved on. Like he'd never existed. Damn. <sighs> Who killed George? Who killed George that night? <sighs> Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. We decided to plan a party okay. in the woods and have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend at the party that night I left the group for a second okay. met our whistling man so that's why they're targeting old high schoolers tended to get stabbed in front of everyone started an something almighty stupid. panic those screams that was the last time I saw so I don't think these people are trying to get saved how did George die Jason or maybe they weren't no that was Clive that was Clive who did that I was playing dead but when I heard her scream... Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Bean? Oh, yeah. I guess George did call her that. Oh, man. Silly yeah. George. He called her Bean. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Her name was... What? Whoa! Whoa! What happened? Whoa! Are still on air? How do we get it back That on? fucking jump scared me. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, Freddy Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. God, why did he do that? God fucking damn it. Fair point. I wonder if it's Marie Cambo. 
That makes sense. Okay, big red button generate. Oh, I know where that is. I know where that is. That was the that was the thingy. God, I fucking hate this game. This game fucking sucks. Freddy Fazbear. Fucking R But why are some of the lights still on? Oh, I fucking hate this. Oh, I fucking despise this. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? I am here to turn on the... The power! I am... It is... I, I love... I love power. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? I don't know, man. Why is this station so big? Why is it auto-saving? Why is anything happening the way it's happening? You uh, riddle me this for us, Nash. Oh, we've got power. Cool. Cool. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Hey, 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 man! You better get. You better back the fuck up, man. You better back the fuck up, man. I'll fucking kill you. I'll kill you, man. You think you got shit on me? I got shit on you. What the fuck. Where the fuck? Peggy. Peggy. Are you there. Are you? Peggy. I need to get back upstairs. Fuck, I'll fucking, uh, where's my shit? Where's my fucking, where's my weapons? I need some weapons. I'm gonna take shit off this desk. I'm gonna throw them at him. Bro is done for. Bro is done for. You are dead, buddy. You are fucking dead. The Where the fuck are you? Where are you? What the fuck was that? What just happened? I got a binder and I am not afraid to use it. Let me tell you, bitch. I got a, I got a, I got a paper and a binder. You are done. I'm gonna legally bind you with my binder. Peggy? 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 Oh no. Peggy, where'd you go? Fuck, oh hey man! No way. Oh hey man, what's up? This can't be What's happening. up, bitch? Yeah, fuck, 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 fight you, man. What? What? What, huh? That was just not fucking necessary. What? A, a call. What the fuck? I need, I need some fucking. Can I, the, can I make some, make some coffee? No. Can I like. Did Don press the Peggy button? Did, did she want me to hit it on my end? Or not just. What do you want? Good to talk to you again, oh, Forrest. You fucker. You know I've really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Enjoy oh, that fucking, that was tonight. terrifying. I guess we've had some moments. <sighs> That's the fucking study and murder the whistling man. was when Ricky ran you out of the rink. Ha. Huh. You sure did get me then, Forrest. Where's Peggy? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. We've got a little time still. Mm, okay, Marie so Campbell the third or second or whatever it was. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well... Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. What is uh, that? Let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch! Wait, what? Let me go! Teddy! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gaps, Where is he? Jr. Wait. Where is... Daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. But where the fuck is he? He crawled out of his coffin with all the money in the world. We need to stall her. Where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. What if that's fucking Peggy? And if he says where that is, well, he knows how There's no it. fucking shot. Wait, then. There's no fucking shot that's who Peggy. Am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce no! Of Gallows Creek. To my boy, Henry Barrow. Your son? Why? You. Wait, did, did he? Yes, Forrest. Oh. He and I had a son. So there were two whistling men tonight. That explains how they were so fast. Of course. That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. Literally couldn't be. I know, I I know. The secret archives but the there were two of them, so I was thinking maybe the double was Peggy. Locking my sweet boy away like an animal. And 
Murphy. He, he was right, wasn't he? He did fight a man. He did. I taught my boy to never run away from a fight. Fuck. Did you say Barrel? Okay, Teddy can die, actually. I, I'm okay with that. Let me just get this mask off. Let me save, just so that we don't have to go through this monologue. How did she plan this much so well? Yeah, she's been planning for 18 fucking years! Assuming this guy's like at least 18. There we go. Yep, I- I fucking told you! I fucking told you! You can stab him. I'll let you. He's so nonchalant. I'd be quiet if I were you, Teddy. But I... I'd listen to Forrest. <laughs> Everyone's gonna know oh, now shit. what Teddy did. Oh, shit. George that night. I don't know what the this fuck happened night, to Peggy. 20 years ago. Listen to me. What's up, man? You... Ah, yeah, I, I, honestly, I can't even be, like, sad. that You just kind of deserve before. that, Teddy. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Why should I help you? Why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. You think this is justice? You have no goddamn idea, Forrest. These people... Oh, her, people oh the voice acting! Insane. They were all in on it. They all knew George was murdered, but... Murdered? Uh, listen, I... Oh, Teddy, shut the fuck up! Yeah, no, honestly, Marie, go off! Fuck him off! I said you speak when you're spoken to. <sighs> now, I know you've done Honestly, so fucking tonight, real, Marie. Piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview He's kind of stylish, though. Interview you. All right. Punching Teddy is just as true. That. Thank you. I want you to help me and Teddy tell the story, Forrest. Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I, I guess I'm in fucking... Oh, so if I fuck up, I die. Wait. Fucking buy Leslie time Wait. to get back to Gallows Creek. Because I, I I'm, I'm literally... He's right there. He is, the fucking... Then this can so I can't... If I fuck up here, it's me. Teddy, it's me who goes. Start with you. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. <laughs> Marie! Teddy, be honest with me. Or we're both <laughs> I going should have to fucking die. said that. Honest, Forrest, I'm trapped here with a psycho. <coughs> yeah, valid. What the hell? God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Hit him, Marie. Our first team party was coming up. And when I saw the date, scheduled for I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys okay sorry whistling night right the night Mooney vanished I understand that kids in Gallows Creek know tonight as whistling we just night. gotta stall we're just stalling I'm guessing that's what you mean follow along well, with we everything we know in the story we have a that. decent idea of what's going on here it was just the night that Mooney went missing but whistling night is what they'd call it later Wait, you mean this was the first whistling night? I, uh, So the whistling man Kentucky wasn't fucking Teddy. real. We went up near whistling point. Maybe the whistling man never did uh, anything. God, who was there? Me, Jason, and George, of course. Uh, <laughs> nice. But George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. And Roller Ricky. He was there too, wasn't he? Yes. Bro's just chilling. Ricky Bro's having a good time. Yo, what's up, man? Runner Ricky. What's up? Our wide receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know? Because I'm a decent man. Is that so? Yes, it is. He came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. Wasn't stable. Get on with it, Daddy. I, I mean, don't get on with it because we're trying to stall, but like, get on with it because I don't care. So I helped him keep himself together. You're not Teddy, what? He's a fake now? You were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Keep talking. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. We looked up at the 
trees and saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man, <laughs> screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left Ironic that Jason him. actually got stabbed. But Ricky, oh. I know he was. Me and Teddy were as close oh. to him, Teddy must have told him to play. That's why... That's why Jason was left there stabbed. And they said, you think it's funny, isn't it? Because Jason was the stab victim. And the one who was put out as being stabbed the first time around. So that's why Dawn said, or Marie said, like, something about it being funny. No, Marie, you're wrong. Ricky didn't know. What? Did you miss that part of the broadcast? I spoke to him earlier. He had no idea what was happening. He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. If we told him, he would have given everything away. But he... Well... It doesn't matter. He yeah, he's alive. Enough to tell anybody about it afterwards. He's still guilty. It was just a stupid prank. <laughs> Hit him again, Marie. <laughs> uh, that was the correct choice. That was the correct choice entirely. Night, you stabbed him for real. It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding, and got him professional help just in time. Oh. Does she have some grand plan to, to kill them anyway? He's gonna regret that. Enough about him. Me and George took off running, but somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point, and when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me. I scream, and he starts laughing. Joke. I can stall for time here. Okay. Who, Who was, was it, Marie? We don't want to go on what Who happened was next. The whistling man. I suddenly recognized it was Chuck. Yeah, she's she's only got two kills on record. Chuck. You know, maybe it was all the sun. Maybe she didn't actually kill anyone. Just she did stab. Laughing away. But then he stops. What was he looking at? <laughs> Your bro's just chilling. Ted, what happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just... Teddy? George fell off Whistling Point. Where uh, were you when it happened? I, uh... You pushed him. You were up there. You were dressed as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him. God damn it! I just chased him up there, and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar! It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. Shit! If he'd had any brains, kick him! He kick him! Realize. Kick his ass! Teddy's a fucking idiot. And why the if cover? She's lying. Why the cover up? My future was at stake, Ash. You know what it's like. People like us are bred for. Oh, can we just can we kill him, chat? Can we? Are we allowed to? Like, I feel like that's like the and good then ending. Governor. And then, who knows? What happened that night? was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke. Gone wrong. So my father Funny, said funny prank. Gone wrong. Oh, not quick, mate. Why should a blip Whistling man prank. My a blip? George was a... Wow. Wow. It's evil. 
It wasn't a blip, Marie. His father covered God, it up. deceased friend found. I searched for George's body all night. I dressed up as a murderer and Sandra chased my friend off a cliff. The next Gone wrong. Out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up. Unless she... Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp Creek. Oh, shut up, Teddy. I'd answer the question of... <laughs> I should have said hit Teddy. him again, fuck. Yes, okay. We own Honestly, he's just kind of there for aesthetic purposes. Was going to run her out of business unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The false reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way. Oh, okay. Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. He said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And fake report? Uh, I only heard the tapes. You'd be disgusted by it. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. Hey, yeah, right over there. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even, even still, she should have told the truth. So yeah. I did my part. I tried. I think really the one her. who's at fault is Teddy's paper. dad. I'd no. say. I'd say Teddy's dad story. was the one at fault here. I mean, obviously partially Teddy. We'll take care but of for the cover-up at the very least. When will the killing end, Marie? And I think everyone here end? was blackmailed you in some way, shape, or form. Blood. By this Teddy's dad. Has to stop sometime. And has Teddy was to. raised on that privilege. So, well, yeah, well, this is deserved. Teddy was raised on that privilege. And I'd say the sheriff as well is kind of at fault. And Clive. Wait a sec. What's up, man? Where's Marie holding Teddy hostage? The football field? The school gym. It was the well no, she said the shot. Gallows Creek High. In the gymnasium. That's right, Forrest. Okay, and now the police are listening yes. into the radio, so they'll know. Anyway, I think that about yep. wraps up the interview with Teddy. So. Fuck him up! Marie? Where? Oh my god. Peggy! Teddy? You've gotta help me! Peggy? Quiet. You'll talk more later. Look, where the fuck is Peggy? I have to talk to someone who mattered more than you ever did. Peggy. Oh it's no! Been so long since I've seen your face. This situation is something too much come. facing the truth. Marie. Marie's traumatized, but she's going for the truth this whole time. I thought you. So yeah, Peggy God, has ties here. I'd never forget my own sister. Oh shit. What the hell? Peggy, what's happening? Why are you even there? Wanna explain, Peggy? What Earlier, the fuck? Well, <laughs> Forrest is not cut out for this. I got a call. You remember? Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out that my sister is the whistling man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop I mean, me or I guess come so. with me when we need you on the radio. And I just. I'm sorry. This has to be a forest. This man's just staring at you. Okay, well, now he's chilling. Just, uh, he's fucking chilling. I love this guy. You, he's just our friend. He just disappeared one day. He's been raised on hatred and malice. I was thrown out, 
Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night, but did they care? No, they told me to stay quiet. Throwing up? They only cared when they learned I'd been with George. And... And... Uh, Marie, I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Oh, wow. Really? I think it does specify Peggy right Campbell. Oh, we should have imagined if we made that connection. I'll have to settle for the next best. Thing. I think the tape says Peggy Campbell. Wait, so what's our next best thing? Next best thing? Do you mean someone has to pay for what they did? Murray, please. Mom and Dad are gone. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. Oh shit, so she's going after Peggy. Forgot. Is there any way I can prove Peggy didn't forget Marie? Hi. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. Oh shit. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love M. Holy I... fucking shit, this is fucking ridiculous. Well, I Henderson police! Freeze! No! Henry! Get out Henry! Of there! Go Henry! Go Henry! Peggy! We have two wounded and we're in pursuit of the suspect! Go! <laughs> Hey man, I'm in here. Forest. Leslie, how's Peggy? Okay. She's been cut pretty bad. We're good. But we're here now. I'll be okay. God, Marie. Hey, Zara. You did it? Okay, Peggy Weaver survived the whistling Peggy. man. Got an achievement. She needs help. Now. We got here just in the nick of time. Where's God Marie? Damn. She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. So we're we're it's good. Over we saved everyone. We're good. Well, folks, it was a long <laughs> Shut the night, fuck up, Forrest. Together. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. Back what happened? Uh, Peggy bad. was the Forrest whistling Nash. man's sister. Shut the show. Good night. God, and good morning. For her deserves to sleep for a month. Fucking hell. The man, the myth, the scream. Forrest Nash survived the whistling man. I'm gonna talk, see the whistling man's targets. Oh shit. In the dead of night, oh shit. Is this Forrest's place? Oh, this is really loud. Eugene, Marie, Sandra, Forrest. Ah, uh, he looks so accurate. Hot Dave, Teddy Gallows Jr. Fuck, everyone's there on the board. Oh! And if any of them have died, I bet their names would have been like X'd out. X'd out. Is Clive there? Clive isn't there. In the door to skip the, ep skip the epilogue and credits. Well, I'm not going to skip the epilogue. We'll watch that. Fuck. So this is this meant to be Forrest's place? Fuck. What? What is that? God damn. It's so loud. Stop it. Calm, calm, the, calm the fuck down. Okay, that's better. <gasps> Ponty's Pizza! Shit! Anything around here? Shit! Ricky looks so damn cool. Wait, let me see Ricky. Yo! Look at him fucking go! I like how they had designs for everyone, even though we didn't get to see them. They were controlling Henry. Oh, shit! That all makes sense. Overall, this game seems pretty cool for a murder mystery. Yeah, they really tied everything in well. Oh wait, 
We have the suspect cornered at the top of Whistling Point. No, wait, that must be Henry. Or no, wait, no, wait, that's Marie. Is Marie at Whistling Point? No fucking way. Is she gonna... Is she gonna fall too? We got hundred inches. That was some... Oh, fuck. I'll have to look at who made this. This was a beautiful little... Hang on, let me, let me check that out while we're doing this. Let me go to the store page. Team 17. I don't know... What else have they made? Hang on. Well, apparently I can't check it right now. Bye, Marie. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of over for her. Hang on, let me try refreshing this. Huh. Uh, Steam page for the developer is not loading, but... Fuck, that was just so good! Dying the way her lover did. I know. Fuck. Yeah. Yup. Did she get away, or did she stay? Because the achievement I got, by the way, was called The End, question mark. I would like to note that. Okay. But no, I mean, the f dude, the fucking writing on this game is fantastic. Like, the voice acting as well. It was, a, it was, you know, it had its cliches to it. It had its tropes. But it did it in such a fun way. Like, the gameplay, the everything else. I wasn't expecting this to be the game it was. I was expecting you to be, like, investigating, like, like, different places throughout a town, kind of. As opposed to investigating an office to try and piece shit together. But I think I like this better than anything I could have expected. It was genuinely just a good experience. Like, very unique. I've never played something like it. I was expecting it to be more scary, but the atmosphere alone was pretty fucking terrifying at times. So I, it still did a really good job. But I mean, we saved everyone somehow. We've had a, we had a few flukes. Will the next stream be if you do stream tomorrow? I think I, if I end up streaming tomorrow. Um, it'll be something more casual. Like, I'll probably just do, like, some Gungeon and Isaac and stuff. Just some roguelikes. Fucking yeah. That's it. Um, I could safely say I'd fumble and get people killed. I mean, I, I feel, I feel like I did pretty well, with the exception of some weirdly structured dialogue options. But overall, for just, like, a little indie game, that was fucking phenomenal. I love that. Um, like, genuinely. I just... Wow, I, I don't know. Just such a cool story. It was fun piecing things together, looking back. There was that weird festival tragedy that was kind of like a throw-off thing to the side that I kind of got hooked on for a while. But what you want to call it? Other than that, like, everything was really well written. Um, but yeah, so... Um, God. That's why indies are based. It's different type of game that you'd never get from AAA. I agree with that. They're willing to go with more, like, this is a gameplay style I've, like, never seen before. And they were just willing to go do with it. Um, but yeah, so, um, Roblox game? We'll have to look into that, but, <laughs> beating Runa, yeah, that'll, 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 that'll be a few months. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, um, I'm gonna call it here. Um, tomorrow I'm ideally gonna be live, probably, Probably. Updates in the Discord, as always. But I, I want to be live before I head to Vegas. Um, it's either going to be around, like, 3 or 4 normal time, or a bit later, like, around 6. It depends on if I end up going to my one class or not. I'll let you guys know. Um, but we'll probably end up doing some roguelikes, like Isaac, Gungeon. I've been thinking about playing Risk of Rain 2 for a while now. And yeah. So with that being said, indie games are just superior. They're just great. I love indie games. People shit on me for not knowing, like, AAA games a lot. But they're $60, and I feel like I have a better experience with some indie games. So yeah, um, with that being said, uh, is anyone live right now? Is anyone that we can go raid? Any, any, any goobers out and about? Yes, my roommate Parker. Parker is live. He's playing Baldur's Gate 3. Um, and if you want to go say hi to him, feel free to. But with that being said, thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, might talk about this game a bit more in the Discord. Phenomenal game. I mean, I know you all just saw the ending, but check it out maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, with that being said, thank you all so much for tuning in. Have a great night. Hopefully I'll be live tomorrow. If not, See you after Vegas. But yeah, have a good night, everyone. See you in the next one. Adios.
I gotta stop repeating myself. Go say hi to Parker. Okay.